Well, I'm glad I killed the sheep. Well, there is a way to, like, kill these fish, and they just... For a minute, they die. And then they get back to being alive. <laughs> it's interesting. To say the least. Kind of an interesting sound. Nineteen ninety nine, the the year this game was released. Two thousand two, the the year of the release of a very terrible uh spiral game. Well, broken at least 2037 a year that has a while to come but not too much longer just years down the line let's see if it, anyway we'll see what hunter has said hey you're just about the right size to ride on his back Hunter, I'm kind of wondering if you're the good guy or not because you have all these orbs that you're trying to help us. Ray, hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. It's a manta ray. I think he'll be fine. I'm apparently following this, uh... Um, yeah, of course. Pretty wild ride, huh? Okay, good luck this time. Okay. This one, it goes either way for me, like, in terms of difficulty. It, it's either a little hard or a little easy. Somewhere like that. Fart bubble, uh, well, seahorse thing. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Yep. Uh, apparently, he didn't notice it before. Ugh. Maybe he wasn't wearing it. Now that the manta race paint, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> We'll slow down there, horsey. Quit horsing around. I wonder if I'm going to find out something about seahorses actually being able to do something like this. Because you never know. Real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Yeah, Hunter, I think we're already partners here. <sighs> the water worker. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these King numbered Clippy. towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Your children? Weren't you a king? Just because you had that kind of hairstyle. Yeah. I don't know if I actually rescued him or not, but. Yeah. Oof. Oh yeah, there's the other one. Duh. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Well, I need some shape now. Luckily, there's no time limit. Kill the sheep. There's for some reason underwater. 
I mean, I know the game's reason, but still. Oh yeah, up here. There we go. Alright. So yeah, he doesn't do that anymore since yeah, I got all the gems. Here's number three. Kill the crab. There we go. We'll see what number four has to offer. It's probably going to be challenging. <sighs> Golly. If I could wake up a little more. Golly gee willikers. Golly willikers. They're electrifying the crabs. Yay. I need to get too excited. Alright. Let's go through here now. Uh, and kill the sheep that I didn't see at all. At least whenever I was just doing as I was going like that. Uh, anxiety. I wonder how how this will if it happens. I wonder how this will look in in a Spyro remake. You did it. Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one. At least that made a little more sense. That he heard that, um, like, his children were in danger. And he actually said, I heard you were collecting these, so why don't you take this as a reward? Our world is wet again. Pop we all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. <laughs> what, makes me what makes you think I want to remember you? <laughs> it flooded up the other way. Good humor. So many deaths. Well done, Spyro. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Precious Dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck. She's a fawn. Crush. Crush. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Get on it! Get off me, you useless buffoons! Why can't either? No 
no dragons. Wonderful. Crush, me, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my. I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush, go through the portal, you idiot. Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly. No! Go! Crush! Get the orbs now! No! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I uh, would have gone after him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now. I honestly used to think that that I used, that scene used to confuse me and I was thinking they've already got Spyro why are they trying to get another dragon because I never paid attention to the fact that it was a flashback ah crap didn't get him in time I think it's because I walked over to him Wow. <coughs> <coughs> Anyway, all the sounds a little off by now, but that's because it's past an hour since I started this. Now this way is a little more challenging. You can't just jump over it. You have to go to the side. What? Now. Don't do it just yet, don't do it just yet. There we go. There we go. Alright, he's almost done. Now this next part's gonna be a little harder. Yeah. 